don't know where to put this. all I've got. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> all the man that I need. Oh, you're not going to use it. Which way do you want it to point? <laughs> There you go, scrape off some white paint on the carpet. Beautiful. That's how pros do it with wacky winners in the hoose. <laughs> <laughs> don't like your tone. I like my hair. <gasps> hey, don't. Now I need to get hair products. It's fine. He raises me up. No, he fills me up. He fills me up more love than I've ever felt. See, see, that doesn't make sense. Look, even Parasol's not even happy about that. He fell over. Right, okay, saw Jurassic Park. I've had enough of that. What do you want me and Whitney watch the other day? Jurassic Park 3. Guess who fell asleep? You did. Yes, let's put this in. Get a close up on this fossil. And that means it's all the way to the end, I think. Wait for it. Da -la 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 -la. Ah, uh, my favorite bit from Jurassic Park 3. How strange is that? Are you rewinding it? It's rewinding itself, man. Technology from the 90s. Bam! Or oh, early 2000s, I should say. That's definitely not from the 90s. Sod it! We're not doing this anymore. We're getting on with the video. Get away to spot for it. So hello, welcome everybody to another unboxing video. We have Whitney on camera one. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? We got me. Being your host! I'm a clever girl, you know. Me! But before you ask, because I know you will, where did I get this amazing t-shirt? <laughs> Can't remember. Because if you remember ages ago, I said that I was going to start a, a shop with my Ford Explorer. And I was going to travel, and travel along! Buy things from the internet and sell them in person. And because uh, some people have actually asked me, oh, what happened with that? Nothing. Uh, the Explorer I got was absolute rubbish had loads of problems and basically it's like i just don't have time to do it so here we are wearing stock that i would have i mean can you even sell things that are like this i don't know it doesn't know what to get involved in anyway anyway today we are going to be unboxing the newest i think it's wave three of the mystery dinosaurs here is wave one whitney the zoom zoom whitney zoom look at this we have a Padasaurus. The Baryonyx, Tyranodon, and Canosaur, uh, Tricer I think there was a Raptor as well. Um, uh, I think I'm missing blue. And T-Rex, I think, was one of them, and possibly Indominus Rex was part of them. This, this is what we got with Hasbro, if you remember, guys. The art on the front of the cover looks kind of just like it's it's from DeviantArt or something. It's just like a general... I searched dinosaur run rampage thing on, uh, on the internet and found that, and there we have it. Still have yet! So we have one movie left in the franchise. I know Colin Trevorrow said oh, there might be more. Well, of course there's going to be more. It makes money. These were amazing. This was the pinnacle, I think. And eggs were only in a like a tiny segment. I guess they weren't just well. It'd been just about three. We have these. No, it's not the same box from last time because I can't really get my hands on another box. <gasps> Ta -da! Yes, more mystery packets. How do we put this down again? Oh 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 oh. Hold on. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Look at them all! Missed you back again! Get a good thumbnail, Whitney. Oh, there needs to be more. Smile. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, actually, it does show you the first wave on there. So those were all the first wave. We pretty much got them all. We didn't get the T-Rex, and we did... I think we didn't get the two Velociraptors. But, you may notice that they're still being sold. Um in, you know, supermarkets and all that jazz. If you're lucky enough to have a supermarket that stocks any Jurassic Park stuff, um, I know that, again, just the whole facilitating of and distribution of toys has been absolutely horrendous. Mattel, what are you doing? What are you doing? What was that Baryonyx thing? Baryonyx ultimate attack assault breakout thing? Just leftover stock? Jesus! We need play sets! We need stuff that's, anyway, mystery mystery things. Hello, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> so they, they actually have cheat codes on them if you really are a collector. So when you zoom in on that, so on the back of every pack, there is a little code. So that little cheat code there will tell you what dinosaur is inside. And you don't need to buy a bunch of them. Uh, I think they always probably had stuff like that. I just never knew as a kid. And I ended up buying friggin' tons and tons of uh, Whitney! Just like, just like I'm trying to talk, she's like... 
I, I probably told the story about me pestering a local news agent uh, by my grandparents just to get these in because they said, oh, we'll get them in, we'll get them in. And eventually they did and I bought the whole thing, like all 24 of them. And they bought them in again and I didn't buy any more, so I don't think they were sold. <laughs> but well, that's amazing that they actually did. Anyway, so instead of buying loads and loads and loads and, you know, it being a mystery, you can cheat. And if you're a collector, that's something you can do. Um, so there are some new ones. I think I didn't get any sort of duplicates that are in wave three. I think there's another, there's a brown triceratops and I don't really want to see that. I want to see new molds, things that look cool. So we're starting with uh, T3, BT3. I think that the T in that one is the, uh, the giveaway. So here we go, get ready. We're gonna open. Get a, get a m -m -m money shot. Remember that dead meme. <gasps> what is it, Winnie? Tell me, have a guess. A dinosaur. Oh, we got, wow, we got blue straight away. It was blue, hold on, blue is in wave one. Okay, well maybe, I, I just never got blue. So there you go, get a lovely close up on blue there. These little models, a nice little addition with the, uh, of course the blue stripe on there. And a little airbrushing on the paint as well. Are the legs, do the legs articulate? Oh, they do! Wow, there you go, so you got blue sit like that. That's actually quite impressive for a little model like that. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. And we've got the cheat sheet for, I think this is wave three. <gasps> oh, I shouldn't look at that. I shouldn't look at that, I shouldn't spoil it because I remember this. There's actually some good ones in here. So again, we don't have eggs and it looks like we're never gonna get eggs. Maybe in, maybe Jurassic World 3. Maybe Colin Trevorrow and Mattel and everything are just listening. They're like, okay, we're gonna mystery eggs and we're not gonna put Dilophosaurus in the movie because it's fan service and we, Probably will have T-Rex doing another roll like five times this time. <laughs> this is BX3. Actually, I shouldn't tell you, should I? Should it be a surprise? It makes no difference to me. <gasps> ooh, ooh, oh my God. Oh, yes, it is Chunky Boy. Look at him. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. He is big like. Oh, the, oh I like it. Again, Mattel has this thing for going for pastel colors instead of sort of solid ones and they did have a triceratops that was going to be a pastel gray or blue um, but they've changed it to a to a proper gray now i'll just move those out of the way so we can get a lovely shot of them so even if we take a look at the triceratops is the sculpt the same i think the sculpt is actually different even for the body yeah if you look at the toes look at that they didn't even skimp out they made it a completely different uh sculpt it could just be the one that they used for the actual paki uh rhinosaurus uh, model and they just scaled it down. That's very true. But of course you've got the articulating head. These things are amazing I really love them for, for the price you pay and the quality like it's it's a it's a solid Bit of plastic the the crest. Ooh, I don't know the crest because it's a thin It's the thinner version of the plastic. That's actually quite bendy But of course you've got loads of different colors going on you've got black for the eye You've got some uh, gray for the highlights and the horns and the sort of crest on the nose there and even a little airbrush on the back there so for, I don't even know how much these are each actually, but for what you get, quality is there. We need, we need to put them all together. Wave three, friends. Next one. Cause people would like to see it like, oh my God, I want to see it. There you go. <laughs> oh yes, that's what, that's the, that's the real reason you want this. This wave three actually has it's covered in sort of the Indoraptor. I like that. Look at that. Little, now, we've seen that in the past with the Hasbro ones. The Baronix had a cardboard uh, version of it, but it just keeps the pose. I mean, he's a little bit, I mean, look at that. He's a little bit spray, display leg there. <laughs> um, ooh. Sorry, we got an air show going on uh, at Sunderland and we've got some amazing planes going overhead. Some like Spitfires and th Thunderbolts. No, that's Harry Potter. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. I should say that, you know, quality is not going to be amazing with these, but I shouldn't have to say that because it should be good anyway. But eh, for the little bit of pay that they put on it, it's okay. It's uh, they, they done an all right job and for the price and everything like that as well. I mean, if you look at the back quills of uh, Indoraptor as well, they're, uh, they're all just sort of globbed together. I mean, they can't separate those because they will just break off and snap. But the pose for Indoraptor is really good. You got the yellow stripe there. You got a little bit of red for the eyes, and actually the jaw does open. Oh my god! It unhinges like a snake. Look at that! Wow. Indoraptor blue and a pachyrhinus. Oh, it I think actually this is called Sinoceratops, because they were. I think they were gonna have it in, and then something was changed. I don't know. All that legislation, that sort of thing. Lovely fun stuff. 
And there we go. <gasps> oh, 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 yeah. It's a green boy. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a Diplodocus. By the looks of it. Oh, I'm getting very, I'm getting vibes of, um, is it a Mementosaurus? What is that? Does it even say what that is? Hold on. Uh, no, apparently not. They don't even have names. They just have a little checklist. Like you get, you get this little list that comes with all the dinosaurs that you can sort of mark off and check. But the reason why I think I even have wave two down there. <laughs> I completely forgot I bought wave two. I was like, ah, I'll do a video on it. Wait, nah, I can't bother. <laughs> but this thing looks awesome. It's the green. I like the green. Do you know why? Because it's not pastel colored. I know that Mattel went for a certain like aesthetic. It's like, oh, it's all baby toned down colors. But this, I like the green. But yeah, you got a lot of articulation in the neck there. And all, all in all, it balances decent little model. And a nice variation. If there's something that Mattel has definitely given us, it's, oh, it's gonna open that. It's variation. Do you, which cover do you prefer? Do you prefer the Jurassic World one or Fallen Kingdom? I mean, they're just teasing. It's like, you put an egg on it. You know that it should have been an egg. And yet, here you are, just putting an egg on the cover. Couldn't have just went all out and just spent a little bit more just to make the egg itself. No, didn't want to do that. They would have sold so much more. Because every kid wants, to, you've got an egg. You, you like the thing, the actual capsule yeah, itself. Like okay, the okay. What's this one? Da, 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 da. Ah, oh, it's a croc boy. Look at him there, I think. If uh, my memory serves me correctly, this one is post Sucus again. Has never appeared in any Jurassic Park World movie ever, but it's really nice to have it here. You've got a nice gradient from yellowy green to mm, pukey green looking. It's not very nice looking it's green. Not. It's not green. And look, there you go. He can open his mouth super wide. Look at that. And you've even got the little um, gum bit at the side that most. Uh, you get with these Mattel dinosaurs, or at least the um, the bigger ones you do. But they even put the effort in to do that. Then you can like, bite. look at that! Oh yes, he bites the Mementosaurus's neck. How many are there? Oh, there's about 500, Whitney. You're gonna be here all day. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? It's a sail boy. Ah, oh, yes. It looks a bit weird, actually. <laughs> it looks really strange. I mean, they've got the color. I mean, what can you do if you want to get a kind of... It, it fits in with the other ones. You can't really do, go too crazy with the paint job there. Um, but the head, the head is so weird because it's so big and it's definitely not the, you know, the one from Jurassic Park 3. You look at just the head, you think, oh, the body's going to be so big. You see the hands, you see the feet, you're like, wow, this thing's going to be massive. And then you see the body, <laughs> it's just tiny. This body needs to be like that much bigger. So they really should just scale the head down, but it obviously they just want to get more detail. The smaller the sculpt, the less detail they can get in it. But Postosuka's there. If you just look at his scales and the detail on him, far superior. He's my favorite so far. And it would work, especially even if it's just a crocodile with the human characters. You don't have to have it as a Postosuka. Because I mean, you could have all, the, all these as babies. The one that doesn't really work as blue or Indoraptor. But this could just be a crocodile. Ooh, this one's a skinny boy. What will this one be? Look at that, this bit. Like, you wouldn't think there's anything in that. Look, that's completely flat, that one. What could be in the flat one? It is Dimorphodon! And has amazing articulation. I think exactly the same one as the, um, as the Tyrannum. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. So you can flap the wings. You can even turn them because they're on a sort of ball joint. The mouth, unfortunately, I guess it's in a similar way that the Trandon, the mouth doesn't open. But if you look at the detail on the back, really well sculpted with the fur. Uh, this is sort of lying on its shoulders. Yeah, a decent model. Even the toes look like they've been a little bit airbrushed. Just the sculpt does it justice. Individual feet and toesies. <laughs> Fantastic. And really, I should be here because that's where the microphone is. But hey, gotta make it harder for me in post. <laughs> and we only have two more. Oh my God, what could be in this? What dinosaurs have we yet to pull? Could it be an Indominus Rex? <gasps> Pachycephalosaurus. What could it be? It is. Oh yeah, there you go. Bam. That's a big girl. And huge feet to balance. And yeah, that's wow. Have they done ink on that? Or oh, they, they've definitely water brushed like some watered down paint off. <laughs> the feet are like really rubbery. But yeah, like I, I don't know what they've done. It looks like ink or something. They've just done a little um, swash. They're not actually. The, the post is quite solid, but for whatever reason, the T-Rex is 
Did they change the plastic? Even, even the Spino's got thinner legs and he's not as wobbly. Little black paint for the eyes as well. But, you know what? Pretty decent. And the final one, what could top? What could top? What could top T-Rex? Indominus, do you think? Do you think Indominus? Yeah. Yes! The best one! Ceratosaurus, a Bruton, Hectilius, Brutilius. Oh, look at that. Actually, I didn't think it would be that red because he has some sort of printing on the back to get the stripes that they've, you know, it had in Jurassic Park 3 as well. Ceratosaurus is really growing on me as far as dinosaurs in the franchise go, just because it's, I, I, I kind of like the underdog. I don't like, oh, it's the biggest, it's the best. Especially in Jurassic World Evolution. I think that's really what's made me um, like it even more. But you've got a little bit of it. Oh, it's even got little paint on the bottom as well for the, for the yellow. Oh, he's got sour. He didn't skip leg day. Wow. Yeah, he's, so, he's got solid legs. I could squish the T-Rex's leg. Look at that. That's so bendy. You could tap dance or something. And there you have it. I think. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the list. Was there anything that I missed? We got Indoraptor. We got Dimorphodon. Uh, we didn't get Stegosaurus, but we can pretend because it's, it's basically there's the sculpt from the, the the good stegosaurus the paint job sorry stiggy moloch was in this one as well however we kind of have stiggy moloch anyway so i was like well we've already we've already seen that one uh ceratosaurus and um the sinoceratops we'll call it because i'm sure that's probably what it's meant to be even though it's uh, quite painfully obvious it's a pachyranosaurus um so the only doubles really here are stiggy moloch triceratops is actually the same triceratops except with brown on the back and they probably changed the um, the color of the actual plastic itself. Oh, I guess I guess T-Rex in blue, so maybe five five ones. But I never got T-Rex and I never got blue, so not too bad for wave three. I think I have a wave two over there. Maybe we'll do an unboxing of that one. But anyway, this has been a little short, cheap, cheerful video of unboxing some dinosaur toys because people want to see it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, leave a like. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any other unboxings, um, I do have some waiting over there that uh, we're probably going to get through anyway. Um, I kind of want to do videos talking about Mattel and where things are going, but I'll probably just mention them in some unboxing videos anyway. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye! Say bye Whitney. Bye Whitney. Uh, bye!